Hey guys, it's Adi here with Geek on Gadgets, and this is a hardware design and specs comparison between the Lumia 1520 and the Lumia 640 XL. So the Lumia 1520 was uh, Nokia's phablet flagship. It was the biggest device uh, that they ever released in a flagship range thing, and uh, it was honestly one of my favorite devices. Now Microsoft have released the Lumia 640 XL, which is also a phablet with a slightly smaller screen and lesser specs. So let's compare the two. So starting off with the actual design of both devices, they're both large screen phablets, obviously. The Lumia 1520 has a 6 inch screen while the Lumia 640 XL has a slightly smaller 5.7 inch screen. However, the actual body size difference is very negligible. As you can see, it's hardly worth, um, you know, there's barely a difference between the two. And that's keeping in mind that the Lumia 1520 has hardware physical buttons while the Lumia 640 XL uses uh, soft screen touch keys. In terms of thickness, the Lumia 1520 is slightly thinner than the 640 XL. The 1520 is 8.7 millimeters thin, while the Lumia 640 XL is 9 millimeters thin. So barely a difference there. One thing worth mentioning in terms of design and hardware is the actual material of each device. The Lumia 1520 has a very premium feel finishing polycarbonate to it, while the Lumia 640 XL is it feels it's actually like normal plastic. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but it feels very cheap and plasticky. While the Lumia 1520 has a nicer, uh, more premium feel to it. In terms of the actual display, the Lumia 1520, as mentioned, has a six inch screen with a 1080p resolution, giving a PPI of 368. The Lumia 640 XL, on the other hand, has a smaller 5.7 inch display, but with also a lesser resolution of 720p. Its PPI is 259, so about 100 less pixels per inch on the Lumia 640 XL. In terms of the camera, the flagship Lumia 1520 has a 20 megapixel optical image stabilized le uh, Carl Zeiss lens with a dual LED flash. The Lumia 640 XL, on the other hand, has a 13 megapixel camera with a single LED flash. On the other hand, however, the Lumia 1520 only has a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. The Lumia 640 XL, on the other hand, has a 5 megapixel front facing camera that can record video in 1080p, which is obviously a huge plus in these selfie centric days. In terms of the actual internals of both the devices, the Lumia 1520 has a Snapdragon 800 processor clocked at 2.2 gigahertz with 2 gigabytes of RAM. The Lumia 640 XL, on the other hand, has a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 400 with 1 gigabyte of RAM. It has 8 gigabytes of internal memory versus the 32 gigabytes of internal memory on the Lumia 1520, both of which are expandable by micro SD card. Matching the larger screen size, the Lumia 1520 also has a slightly larger battery with a 3400 milliamp battery. The Lumia 640XL on the other hand has a 3000 milliamp. Lastly, of course, is the price difference between the two. The Lumia 1520, which was marketed as a flagship, was released at around $600 or even $700 depending where you were. You can get one now for about $400 unlocked off contract. The Lumia 640XL on the other hand is hitting the market priced around $250 depending where you look. So there's a huge price difference for the differences I listed above, which are mainly the processor and the screen uh, size and resolution. I'm going to say the camera isn't a big difference because I believe the 13 megapixel camera in the 640XL is supposed to be pretty impressive. And the five megapixel front facing camera is also pretty cool. So mainly the main difference is actually the processor and RAM, as well as the uh, 1080p versus 720p resolution. Is it worth the price? That's up to you guys to decide. Let me know what you guys think is a better device, what do you think is worth paying for, and uh, what else would you like to see? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys around in the next video.